Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use media literacy skills to overcome the types of bias we've discussed in this unit. Bias by omission, bias by placement, and bias by spin. The first step in overcoming any of these types of bias is simply recognizing that it's there. I encourage you to review the videos from earlier in this unit to help you do this. First, let's look at how to overcome bias by omission. If you suspect that you're seeing bias by omission, you should focus on answering this media literacy question. What points of view are being omitted from this message? People can disagree about how to interpret almost any situation. Therefore, a media message that tries to avoid bias by omission will show more than one point of view. Also, the media should show us why someone might support these different points of view. You may need to look at several media sources in order to get a good idea about the different points of view on a situation. Second, if you think you're saying bias by placement in a media message, you should try to answer this media literacy question. How important is this situation for my daily life or society in general? If something very important to your life doesn't receive important placement in media, then it's time to start searching. Find other media sources, especially on social media, that give important placement to the stories that matter to you. This is the same action you should take if the stories on television or social media that have important placement aren't important to your daily life. These top stories might be more like entertainment instead of important news. In short, you should be the one who decides how important a certain event is to your life. Finally, if you suspect that a media message is using bias by spin, you should try to answer this media literacy question. Does this message want me to have a positive or negative opinion about the topic? We want to see objective language, which is based on facts, not opinions. If a media message doesn't use neutral connotations, or if it seems to be saying you should feel a certain way, then you should stop for a moment to think. Make sure your opinion about this situation is your own. It's perfectly fine to agree or disagree with a media message, but your opinion about a topic should be your choice, not the choice of a media message. To continue with this idea, it's important to realize that there may be bias even in media messages that you agree with. When you consume media, your goal should be to get a complete picture of events in the world not just to consume media that already agrees with your point of view. If we're not careful, we could accidentally surround ourselves with media sources that all share the same biases. This situation is called an echo chamber. In media, an echo chamber is a situation where all the media you consume has the same point of view. Remember, Bias can affect your decisions about how to act in the world. You must be an active consumer of media and practice media literacy to overcome bias and make good choices. If you see bias by omission, ask, what points of view are being omitted from this message? If you see bias by placement, ask, how important is this situation for my life or society in general? And if you see bias by spin, ask, does this message want me to have a positive or negative opinion about the topic? 